Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. This morning, we want to say good morning to everyone. Glory be to God. Those that has joined us on the phone and those, of course, glory be to God. Hallelujah. That has joined us on Facebook. Glory be to God. We want to welcome you, Melissa Hull, Lorraine Ramble, Roosevelt Collins. We just want to thank God for you, you, and especially you. But it is time to call upon the name of the Lord. It's time to pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, we come to thee. We worship and adore thee. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. We praise and magnify your name. We lift up your name. We come this morning, glory be to God, looking to thee as the total source of our supply. We just want to worship thee because there's none like thee in heaven. There's none like thee in the earth. Glory be to God. You are a powerful God. Hallelujah. And we magnify thy name. We glorify thy name. As we look to thee, glory be to God, hallelujah. We need your help this morning, hallelujah. We need your deliverance today, another time in the name of Jesus, as we call upon your name. Somebody need a healing, somebody need a deliverance. Somebody need to be brought out, glory be to God, and to be delivered out of their situation. But you who are God is able to do all these things. So this morning, glory be to God, we turn our attentions upon thee. We turn our eyes upon thee. We don't know how to go out or how to come in. Glory be to God. But we put our trust in thee. Glory be to God. Because you are the total source of our supply. Glory be to God. We're so glad because you have provided all things that that pertaineth to life and godliness. Whatever we need for this life, glory be to God, you have provided. Whatever we need to live holy, you have provided. Glory be to God. So we just want to thank you. We thank you because we can call. We thank you because we can worship. We thank you because we can seek thee. Glory be to God. For your word said, if my people, which are called by my name, will humble themselves and pray and seek your face and turn. Glory be to God. This morning we pray. This morning, glory be to God, we seek your face. We turn from our wicked ways. And we call upon your name because your name indeed is a glorious name, a wonderful name. Glory be to God. So, Lord God, have your way. Minister another time in the name of Jesus. Glory be to Jesus. Hallelujah. Give your people a heart to serve thee. Glory be to God. We bind religious demons right now in the name of Jesus. Demonic forces and diabolical spirits that will come up against us. We claim the victory. Lord, we pray for our nation this morning. Glory be to God. That you will move by your spirit. Glory be to God. That the things that we have told you in the secret place. Glory be to God. That you will answer prayer. Glory be to Jesus. Turn situations wrong about in our nation. Lord, I know, glory be to God, that you change people and people change things. Lord, let us be the people to change the situation. Let us be the people to rise up and change things in our nation. Another time in the name of Jesus. So we give your name the praise. We give your name the glory. We give your name the honor. Glory be the God. Hallelujah. We pray, glory be the God, that you will move, that you will cause the church to rise up and seek thee this morning and call upon your name. Glory be the God. We thank you for intercessors. Glory be the God. God that had, you have called forth uh, in the atmosphere. Glory be to Jesus. Uh, glory be to God. So we bless your wonderful name. Let your people come forth. Glory be to God to call, to seek thee. 
that they might enter into their closet. Glory be to God and call upon the name of the Lord. Glory be to Jesus. So we bless and glorify your name. We magnify your name because indeed you're worthy to be praised. Glory be to God. We pray that you will heal the lands. Glory be to God another time in the name of Jesus. Glory be to Jesus. We thank you. Glory be the God and we give your name the praise we worship thee because of who you are glory be the God you are our deliverer you are friend you are shelter you are shelter in the time of storm and we call upon your name you are our strong tower you are the supplier of our every need glory be the Jesus so we seek your face this morning Move by your spirit uh, another time in the name of Jesus. Uh, situations that we cannot handle, uh, we give them over to thee. Glory be the God. Uh, stand up in the midst of our circumstances. Uh, show yourself strong. Glory be the God as God. Ah, uh, we bless you. We praise you. Ah, uh, glory be the God. Hallelujah. As we lift thee up, uh, we pray. Glory be the God for ministers this morning that you will touch them in their spirit. Glory be the God. Hallelujah. Let not your people, glory be the God, manifest religious spirits, but let them really seek your face to call upon your name that our lands might be healed. Glory be the God. Uh, so touch the hearts of your people. Minister to the hearts of your people. Cause, glory be the God, prayer warriors to pick us up in the atmosphere. Glory be the God. Hallelujah. That while we are praying for others, they would be praying for us. Uh, another time in the name of Jesus. Uh, we bring our apostle before thee. Hallelujah. We thank you for this man of God that you have called. Glory be the God. Uh, to minister to your people. Glory be to Jesus. We pray for your divine protection continually. Glory be to God. We pray that you will touch him in his mind, touch him in his soul, touch him in his spirit. Breathe upon him another time in the name of Jesus. Oh, glory be to God. Hallelujah. Cover him on their blood. Thank you, Jesus. Uh, the demonic forces that would come up against him. Uh, glory be to God. Let him war them off. Uh, tread upon the plans of the enemy because you have given us power to tread. Uh, glory be to God. Hallelujah. That we might tread upon the plans this morning. Another time in the name of Jesus. Uh, so we bless and praise thee. Uh, we worship and adore thee. Uh, we magnify your name. We lift up your name because your name is worthy, uh, worthy to be praised from the rising of the sun to the going down thereof. Touch your people. Glory be the God. Uh, everyone that's on the pray line. Glory be the God. Everyone that's on the Internet. Touch them this morning. Another time. In the name of Jesus, breathe your breath upon your people. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. And cause your people to seek your face. We need thee like we have never needed thee before. Glory be to God. We put our trust in thee because truly you are our God. And there is none like thee, none above thee, none but thee. You are the king of kings kings and the Lord of Lords. We thank you for your mercies this day. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. We thank you for righteousness because righteousness and peace. Uh, glory be to God. Hallelujah. Have joined together. So we just want to praise you this morning as we magnify your name, as we lift up your name this morning for truly your name is worthy to be praised. Uh, 
from the rising of the sun to the going down thereof. So have your way another time in the name of Jesus. Touch the sick this morning. We rebuke sicknesses and diseases, spirits of infirmities another time in the name of Jesus. Lord, your word tell us that healing is the children's bread. And because this was provided for us, glory be the God. We thank you for feeding us with that bread this morning. First of all, heal our minds that we might be able to conceive and understand and recognize that you came to heal our bodies, heal our souls, Another time in the name of Jesus, Lord, change the heart of man. Glory be the God. Hallelujah. Let our hearts be changed another time. Be a lamp unto our feet and a light unto our path. Let our steps be ordered by thee this day. We will give your name, the glory, the honor, because truly you are worthy to be praised from the rising of the sun to the going down thereof. And in Jesus' name, we ask all these mercies. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. This morning, we just want to thank God for his goodness. And we want to thank God for his mercies as we pray and call upon the name of the Lord. We're going to call this morning on Evangelist Hull to agree with me and to pray for our apostle as he is getting ready to leave his assignment to return to the United States of America. Glory be there, God. Would you pray for us, Evangelist Hull? Would you pray for the apostle this morning in Jesus' name? Hallelujah. Father God, we thank and praise you, Lord, for our men of God. We thank you, Lord God, for this gift to the body of Christ. Yes, Lord. We thank you, Lord, because you are so faithful, Lord. We we lifted up this trip before you, Lord, this missionary journey, and you have done everything we asked you. Yes, to Lord. Do, Father God. Souls have been added to the kingdom. Burdens have been removed. Yes. Lord God. Lord, you blessed the man of God. You took him there safely, Lord. You watched over the entourage. Yes, you did. That were going with him, God. You have, ah, brought them through. you have brought them out now, God, yes, because Lord. we don't take these things for granted, ah, because you said in all of our ways, acknowledge you, Lord yes, Jesus. Lord. We are asking you to cover him and those who, that have traveled with him with your precious blood. Yes, Lord. We send the blood of Jesus Christ before him. Ah, Lord yes, God, Lord. we send the name of Jesus Christ, Christ. that name. That is oh, above every name, Lord, all that you yes. are and all of your ability is contained in the name of Jesus Christ. Yes. Lord, we send the blood to the airplane, Lord, to every every juncture of this trip. Yes, We're Lord. asking you to go before him, Lord. Go before Order him. his steps. Protect yes, him. Let your angels be mm. encamped round and about him continually. Bear him on eagle's wings. Bring him back to the United States in peace and in safety. And Lord God, stay with him. Lord, you told, glory be to God, hallelujah, Jacob, you would not leave him until you had performed your word. Lord, don't leave him for one second. Be with him. Protect ah, him. Yes. Hover over him. Strengthen him. Lord, you know the anointing operating under the auspices of the anointing yes. can drain the human body, God. Yes. Lord God, but I'm asking you to renew his strength, God. Yes. Look in that body right now. If there's any deficiency, any weakness, Lord God, yes, Lord. any sickness that would try to rise up in his body, mm -hmm. Lord, we're asking you to renew, revive, restore. You said whatsoever a man soweth, that so he also reap. He yes, went Lord. to this country with an unselfish desire to see people be blessed. Lord, fill his cup to overflowing. Yes. Lord, not only spiritually, but naturally. Bring him back home full to overflowing in the name of Jesus. In the name and of we Jesus. will remember to give you the praise yes, for we doing will. it in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. Truly, glory be to God. 
We magnify the Lord for his goodness this morning. Glory be to God, and we praise the Lord. Thank you for that prayer. Father, in the name of Jesus, we pray for Evangelist Hull because she is one of our chief intercessors. We pray right now that you will touch her. Let the spirit of intercession continue to rest upon her in the name of Jesus, that you will minister to her. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Let her always seek your face and call upon your name. Lord, you have given her all things that pertain to life and godliness. Open her eyes that she might see every good and every perfect gift that cometh down from above and bless her this morning. And we thank you for doing it in Jesus name. Glory be the God. We thank all of you that has joined us. Glory be the God. We have Dennis Daniels. Glory be the God, our technician joining us. We have glory be the God, Cla Cla Sister Claudette. Glory be the God. God bless you. And every one of you, glory be to God, we say greetings to you, glory be to God, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. We are so glad, glory be to God, that God is good, and his mercies is from everlasting to everlasting. Truly, God has been good to us. He has caused our hearts to rejoice yesterday in service, glory be to Jesus, hallelujah. We thank God, glory be to God, for the name people. I don't think I would be able to worship anywhere else, glory be to God, because there is a special anointing that is on the people that are called by his name. I don't think I'll be able to pass to anyone else, glory be to God, because when we call on the name of Jesus, because his name is upon us, glory be to God, hallelujah, our souls rejoice. Praise God. We start this teaching, glory be to God, on the, 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 the prayer that Jesus taught his disciples. The Bible said that the disciples came to Jesus in St. Matthew chapter 6 and said, teach us how to pray as John taught his disciples. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. And he said, after this manner, he never told them to repeat the prayer. Glory be to God. But after this manner or pray like this, when you are praying, praying after this manner, glory be to God. Hallelujah. When you pray, say, our Father, which art in heaven, glory be to God. Hallowed be thy name. And we thought about hallowing the name of Jesus. We thought about we talked about respecting the name of Jesus, understanding the name of Jesus and seeing that the power that there is in his name. Glory be to God for whatever we need is in the name of Jesus. Glory be to God. Hallowed be thy name. And today we're going to talk about the kingdom. Thy kingdom come. I have heard people say, I mean, people with large ministries said that this part of the Lord's prayer, the prayer Jesus taught his disciples, is not relevant. But, you know, I beg to differ. I mean, everyone is entitled to their opinions. Eve, it's like teeth. Opinions are like teeth. Even the baby have them. But I beg to differ. Glory be to God this morning. Glory be to Jesus, because I understand that this prayer is relevant in every generation. What makes this prayer relevant today is because that there are many people that has not yet received him. They have not yet received the king of the kingdom. And because the kingdom of God is within us, Glory be to God. And man's heart have to be open to receive the kingdom. Our prayer should always let your kingdom come. Because there is somebody out there. Although the kingdom of God is manifested in the earth. There is someone out there that the kingdom of God is not in them. They don't even know what is the kingdom of God. 
Glory be to God. The Bible said the kingdom of God is not meat and drink, but righteousness, joy, and peace in the Holy Ghost. Everybody don't have righteousness, joy, and peace in the Holy Ghost living on the inside of them. So this prayer is relevant. We've got to pray, glory be to God, that the kingdom come to others. Let the kingdom. So let our prayer be, glory be to God. Let your kingdom come. Glory be to Jesus. Let your will be done. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. In, in John chapter 18, Jesus answered, my kingdom is not of this world. If it were of this world, then will my servants fight. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Because people thought that Jesus came to establish a natural kingdom. But the kingdom of God is within us. Glory be to God. Pilate asked Jesus a question. He said, art thou a king then? Jesus answered, thou safe, I am a king. He said, to this end was I born. And to this cause came I into the world, that I should bear witness unto the truth. Everyone that is with the truth heareth my voice. Glory be the God, the kingdom of God. What is the kingdom of God? When Jesus came to this earth, he taught a different way of doing things. He introduced us to God's way, ways of doing things. If we were liars, he wanted us to stop. If we were thieves, he wanted us to stop. He wanted to introduce us God's way of doing things. Because before Jesus came, we know that the Jews were God's special people. Glory be to God. They were God's chosen people because of Abraham. Glory be to God. And when God said to Abraham, asked Abraham a question, if he can count the sands of the earth, he was talking about the Jews. They are earthly. But when he talked about counting the the, the stars in the heaven, he was talking about the church because we are heavenly, that make up of both Jews and Gentiles. Glory be to God. So the kingdom of, of God is God's way of doing things. And every day we have to seek God's way of doing things. God's way of doing things in our business. God's way of doing things in our marriage. God's way of doing things in our life. God's way of doing things in our household. We have got to see God's way of doing things. For although the work was done from the foundation of the world, we know that demonic forces have increased in the earth to block us, making things less conducive. And Jesus, knowing this, Knowing these things, glory be to God, gave us this prayer that we might follow this pattern to pray daily. So every morning, glory be to God, I've asked, glory be to God, let your kingdom come this way. Help me to find God's way of doing things this day. Glory be to God. So we magnify and glorify God. God's way of doing things is reading the word daily. God's way of doing things is praying daily. Glory be to God. And we thank God for a word people. You know, if we don't put glory be to God, a new video out, people are concerned because people don't want yesterday's word. People want a fresh word. People who read the word is looking for a fresh word. They're looking for God's way of doing things because this is the kingdom of God. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. This is the kingdom of God. The kingdom of God is God's way of doing things. So Jesus came preaching the kingdom of God. He said, repent. Th that's the problem. Before we can do anything, we need to repent. We need to repent, turn to God. Glory be to God. There are many people that are working in churches and they have not repented. 
They're still practicing the same practice that they have always practiced. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. But Jesus keep, came preaching the kingdom of God. And he said, I, I not only came preaching the kingdom of God in this city, but the kingdom of God must be preached in other cities because that was the purpose that I was sent. We have to seek God's way of doing things every day. God's way of doing things. Glory be to God. Some time ago, I went into a store. And when I went into the store, I was doing some shopping. And I shopped. And the cashier was probably new. So she put the groceries in the bag. And she didn't check them. You know, maybe she had something on her mind. You know, maybe she was having a bad day. She didn't check them. Glory be to God. And I went back to her. I said, sweetheart. I've made an observation that you have placed these groceries in the bag, but you did not check them all. And she said to me, oh, my God, oh, my God, thank God for you. Thank God for you. Glory be to God. I said I would not be able to sleep because stealing a bag of corn, glory be to God, I'm not going to mess up my salvation for stealing a bag of corn because God's way of doing things is, it said, let him that stole steal no more, but let him work honestly with his hands that he might have to give. This is God's way of doing things. Glory be to God. And she went to the store. She told her manager and she told everybody. And from that day, when I went back in the store, glory be to God. Hallelujah. People looked at me different and that was the opportunity for me to let them know I'm a Christian because that's God's way of doing things. Some people will say it's a blessing. No, that's not a blessing. That's stealing. I said, no, that's not a blessing. That's stealing. Glory be to God. Because Jesus came that we might find God's way of doing things. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. The Bible said the way of the Lord is right. It rejoices the heart. And when we do things God's way, blessings are tremendous. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. I'm blessed in the city. There are people that would bless me. I mean, there are people, glory be to God, that would bless me. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Without me even asking, because when I do things God's way, it makes my heart happy and God blesses. So the kingdom, we ought to pray that the kingdom come. Let your kingdom come. Let your kingdom be established in the hearts of men. God's way of doing things. The Bible says, seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness. And all these things shall be added. That's the reason I tied. I tied. Glory be the God. Hallelujah. I tithe and give offerings. Glory be the God. Because that's God's way of doing things. That's God's way of prospering me. I've heard people say, Lord, give me favor today. Let someone favor me. I just got to do the right thing and the right people. I don't want favor from everyone. And I'm going to tell you why I don't want favor from everyone. Abraham, when he came back from the battle, from fighting the battle, glory be the God, hallelujah. The king of Sodom came to him and said, you know what? I'm going to give you all the goods. Just give me the, per the, the persons. And Abraham, because he knew who he was and whose he was, Abraham said to the king of Sodom, I will not take anything from you less later you say you made Abraham rich so everyone's favor is not for me I want favor from the people that God has ordained for me to have favor from glory be the God 
Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. So we've got to pray that the kingdom of God is established in our lives and that the kingdom of God is established in the lives of others. So when I need a blessing, I give an offering. Glory be the God. Hallelujah. I give to God because God said he's going to open the windows of heaven and pour me out a blessing that there is not room and enough to receive it. One of the sisters shared a story with me. Glory be to God because she was having some problems and, and when she was having some problems, she didn't pay our rent on time. Well, she did manage to pay off her rent. But what she was sharing with me that they put it out there and it went on her credit. And people said, because this is on your credit, you will never be able to rent another place. <laughs> but I told her, I said, that's not true. I said, you are tithe, and if you do God's way of doing things, you give your offerings. And if you do things God's way, he will open a door for you. And he did. He did. Glory be to God. And she was able to rent a house. Glory be to God in her name. Because I told God in this last day, I don't want to buy anything in anybody's name because their credit is better than mine. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. I want you to bless me. I want you to take care of me. And God made a way. When you do things God's way, he will make a way for you. So Jesus said, when you pray, say, let your kingdom come. Let thy kingdom come. The kingdom of God is within you. It is righteousness. It is you doing that which is right. It is righteousness, joy and peace in the Holy Ghost. And the Bible said, if you seek after the kingdom, if you go after the kingdom, if you seek this kingdom, God's way of doing things, all these things shall be added. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. The Lord spoke to me one time and he said, no one can make you great. He said, I am the one that blessed Abraham and made him great. Don't look for anyone to make you great. Glory be to God. Don't look for affirmation from people thinking that they can make you great. Don't look for people to come by and tell I can make you great. He said, I am the one that blessed Abraham and made Abraham great. Only God can make you great in his own timing. So Jesus said, when you pray, say, let your kingdom come and your will be done on earth. Well, God's will being done on earth is the kingdom of God. It's God's order in the earth. I'm a person that likes order. I don't like chaos. I don't like confusion and I don't like complications because as far as I am concerned, a complication is a confusion. And if a person tells me this is complicated, they're telling me this is going to confuse me. I like things that are straightforward. Glory be the God. Hallelujah. Glory be the Jesus. Hallelujah. And I love order in my life and anything that brings chaos or disorder, I will put it away. My grandson know that to be true about me. Glory be the God. Hallelujah. That I love order. Glory be the God. Hallelujah. And the Bible said, let Thy will be done on earth. Let there be order in the earth. Submission to the will of God. Jesus prayed in the garden, not my will, but thy will be done. It was in the book of James that we read, glory be the God, James 4, 7. Submit yourself, therefore, to God. Resist the devil and he will flee. So the will of God is submission. Glory be the God. Hallelujah. Let your will. How do I submit to God? 
Submitting to God is submitting to his word. What the words say. I, I know what the world say. I know what people say. You know, people say you got to help yourself. You can't help yourself to everything because everything is not yours. Everything is not yours. You have to know what is yours and what is not yours. Every, so you can't help yourself to everything. Glory be to God. You know, they say in the world, God help those that help themselves. But there's something shady about that statement. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Because God is our help. What he wants us to do is for us to submit to his will and to find out from him what path we need to take. Not just help yourself. Because in the human mind, you will help yourself to something that don't belong to you. Submitting to the will of God is submitting to the word of God, obeying the word of God for the word of God is right. It rejoices my heart. Anytime, glory be to God, I do what the Bible say, my heart rejoices. Glory be to God. So our prayer should be, let your will be done in me today. Glory be to God. This way, God will protect us and deliver us. It will cause us to be blessed. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Acknowledging he is our father, worshiping his name, invoking his kingdom, and submitting to his will, give us an entrance to ask. So before we can ask for anything, we approach him as father with respect. We don't take his name in vain. You know, I have not taken on the name of the Lord in vain. When I went down in Jesus' name, I did not take his name in vain. I am a person with purpose. I have a purpose. And that purpose is to preach the gospel to every creature. That purpose is to worship. So I have not taken on his name in vain. Glory be the God. Hallelujah. You take on the name of God in vain when you don't know your purpose. When somebody can tell you, God did not call you to do that. And God did not call you to do this. Glory be to God. And because you don't know what God has called you to do, you listen to every babala. Glory be to God. But one thing I am going to tell you, every man, every woman is going to stand before God for the deeds that has done in, has been done in their body, whether they were good or evil. So God did not call us to police each other. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. What we need to do is to focus on what God called you to do. Let me focus on what God called me to do. And if I am wrong, God is going to hold me responsible for the deeds that were done in my body, whether they were good or evil. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. So you've got to approach the Father. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Honoring his name. Glory be to God. Praising his name. Glory be to God. Invoking the kingdom of God and worshiping his name. And that will give us entrance. Glory be to God to ask. I'm here to tell you that God is a God that answers my prayer. If I need finances, I ask God. Glory be to God. I'm one of those people that are very careful with my finances. I watch my finances. Glory be to Jesus. And I believe that if the Lord has blessed me with something, I'm supposed to take care of it. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. I have limits on how far I would go. 
Glory be the God. And I have limits on what I would do. Glory be the God. Because when I approach God and ask him, Lord, show me your divine will in this situation. Once he shows me his will, it's over. Because I have learned to submit myself to the will of God. Submit yourself. If you owe someone, pay them. This morning, I was thinking about something. The worst thing you can ever live with is a debt over your head. Someone holding something over your head. You cannot go on with your life. I like to be free. Glory be to God. So it is the will of God that you pay your debts, that pay those you have owed. When you pay a person, you break that yoke off of you. You are free to go forward. You are free to live your life. You are free to walk with God. You are free to make decisions. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. You submit the will of, to the will of God. The Bible said, oh, no man, nothing but love. Glory be to Jesus. Hallelujah. So you pay your debt. Glory be to God. And you move forward with your life. So I just want to praise God and magnify God because Jesus has given us a pattern to pray. And after this manner, I pray every day. You cannot continue to make mistakes and you will not continue to make mistakes if you pray this way. Oh, no, you don't. Let your kingdom come. Let your will be done. Oh, glory be to God. And then you can ask him. One of my favorite parts of that praying, we are going to get to that. Lead me not into temptation, but deliver me from evil. Glory be to God. And we're going to be talking about that later on another broadcast. Lead me not into temptation. Glory be to God. Because evil is around us. Hallelujah. And because evil is around us, glory be the God. Hallelujah. People can strategize, put on the strategy. But because we know the Lord and we are praying for deliverance from evil, he's going to deliver us. He's going to deliver us. He's going to set us free. So this prayer that Jesus taught his disciple is powerful. It is wonderful. Glory be to God. After this manner, pray ye. Glory be to Jesus. So we thank God this morning. Glory be to God. And we magnify his name. And because glory be to God, he has told us to pray after that manner. Glory be to God, we are going to pray. Glory be to God. Is there anyone, glory be to God, that wants us to pray for you this morning? Glory be to God. Let us call upon the name of the Lord. Anyone have a prayer request? Good morning. Praise the Lord, everyone. This is Elder Boston. Praise I'm the asking Lord. everyone to God bless you, Mom. Hallelujah. Continue to ask the Lord to continue to pray for our primary and secondary leadership in the body of Christ. I'm praying for churches nationwide uh, that we continue to be unified and to have one mind and one spirit to glorify God, and to win souls and persuade men, boys and girls into the kingdom of God. Father, in the name of Jesus, we come to thee. We pray for leadership. Glory be the God, hallelujah, in the body of Christ. Glory be the God, especially those that are called by your name, that have taken on your name, especially those that have set their heart to seek thee, especially those that have set their heart, glory be the God, to walk with thee, especially those, glory be the God, hallelujah, that has made up their mind to be sanctified, to be separated from the things of the world. Glory be to Jesus. We pray right now for our primary lead the leadership and our secondary leadership that you will move glory be the god hallelujah another time in the name of jesus uh, hallelujah we pray that th that leadership will follow your leadership that as you lead them that they will follow you that they will not judge by the seeing of their eyes nor the hearing of their ears glory be the god but the righteous judgment they will judge with glory be the god hallelujah Hallelujah. Another time in the name of Jesus. So we give your name the praise. We give your name the glory. 
We pray, glory be to God, that you will move through the body of Christ, that you will touch your leaders, for these are your people that are called by your name, that you will minister to them, that you will cause them, glory be to God, to rise up and seek your face. Give them constantly a word that they might give to their people, fresh manna that cometh down from above. For every fresh word we need, glory be to God, because you can see the evils that has gone before us. And the word come to deliver us. So have your way. Let a word be in the mouth of your leaders. Another time in the name of Jesus, a word to help your people, that your people might be delivered, that your people might be set free. And we give your name the glory. We give your name the honor. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Lord, we pray for the leadership of our fellowship. Glory be to God, Bishop Wallace, this man of God, Glory be to God. We thank you because as brethren, we can come together and have fellowship. Glory be to God, one with another and the blood of Jesus Christ cleanses us from all sins. So we pray for fellowship. No bondages, Lord, just fellowship fellowship, uh, that we might fellowship one with another. And when we come together, we can go back uh, to our home churches, revive. Uh, glory be the God. Hallelujah. Another time in the name of Jesus. Uh, so we give your name, the praise. We give your name, the glory. We give your name, the honor. Glory be the Jesus. Uh, another time, uh, we thank you. We pray for our apostle, glory be the God, uh, who is the head of the Revelation Pentecostal Houses of Prayer worldwide. Uh, we pray, glory be the God, that you will touch him. Uh, glory be the God as he go forward and minister, that you will give him a fresh word, uh, fresh bread. Glory be the God, that we might sit and eat the word of God and we thank you Lord so leaders everywhere move by your spirit move on them those that are not in truth bring them into truth those that don't understand glory be the God the truth of the word of God bring them in glory be the God talk to them minister to them whisper to them in the night season show them the way to God Go, reveal yourself. Let the spirit of revelation rest upon them. The very Holy Ghost that you have given to them. Let the Holy Ghost lead them into all truth. We will give your name, the praise, the glory, the honor. Glory be the God as we magnify your name. As we lift up your name. Because you are worthy to be praised. From the rising of the sun to the going down thereof. Praise the Lord. Is there another request? I feel like praying today. Glory be to God. I woke up at 2 o'clock this morning and started into seeing. Because I understand their bodical spirits. I understand spirits. Glory be to God. And let me tell you something about demonic forces. Demonic forces come in people. They whisper to you. They talk to you. Glory be to God. You see, the devil don't have babies. That's not how he multiply. He borrows bodies because it is not legal for him to operate in this world. So he comes against people's mind. He confuses your mind. Glory be to Jesus. Hallelujah. But today in the name of Jesus, I command your mind to be set free in Jesus name. He confuses the mind of people. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. He tells them lies. So we bind him today in the name of Jesus and we command God's people to be delivered in Jesus name. Do you have another request? Is Praise there anyone the Lord, with a request? Yeah. God bless you. Praise the Lord. This is Evangelist Hall. I, I do have a prayer request. I'm seeing a trend in evangelism where people are trying to establish their own righteousness. They're religious but they haven't been born again. Okay. And we as saints are not witnessing to them so they would know the truth. Amen. Well, it is our job, your job, my job to speak the truth. <laughs> That's why we came. Jesus had 12 men, 
12 disciples. One betrayed him. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. And he said, because of these men and what he has taught these men, that they were supposed to go forward and teach others. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. So if, if, if people are in your path, it is your job. Those are the people. The people in your path is your assignment. They can't be my assignment because they're not in my path. I don't meet them. I don't see them. So the people in your path is your assignment. And whoever God placed in your place, that is your responsibility to share that Jesus saved and there's salvation in no other name but in the name of Jesus. That's your responsibility. Glory be to God. People will always be religious. There's nothing we can do about that. I have decided you can't change the heart of man. I don't intend to. I don't intend to change anyone. Glory be to God. My job was not to change people. My job was to preach the gospel. That maybe the gospel would reach their hearts and they would be changed. So it is our responsibility as the sleeping giant. The people that is in your path is your assignment. Father, in the name of Jesus, we pray this morning that the spirit of evangelism, glory be the God, will rise up on everyone. Glory be the God. Hallelujah. And the people that you have placed in their path, that you will open to them the truth, that there's salvation in no other name, but there's no other name given among men whereby we must be saved, that we might be able to share the truth of the gospel with them in the name of Jesus. We come against the spirit of fear. Glory be to God. We bind it and cast it out in the name of Jesus. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. And we thank and praise and glorify your name for doing what only you could do because you are the Lord God of all flesh and there is nothing too hard for thee to do. So have your way. Glory be to God. Rest upon your people to minister to others. Let them see the world as dying. Take their assignment seriously. For we were born with purpose. Help us to fulfill that purpose. Glory be to God in Jesus' name. Let me tell you something. People don't know the right thing sometimes unless you tell them. And you're supposed to share it with them in love. Salvation is in the name of Jesus. I didn't put that scripture there. The Bible says so. That there is no other name given among men. And there are people that are filled with the Holy Ghost. Glory be to God that do not understand the revelation that there is in the name of Jesus. Jesus said there are some sheep of this. He said, them too will I draw. He's going to bring them. Do your job in the name of Jesus. Do we have any another request? Good morning, overseer and everyone on the line. God bless you, darling. I bless you, my love. Um, we are... There is a physical sickness in the household mm -hmm. of God more than I've seen than in the world. And, okay. and that's a concern that though that God's children are physically sick. Yes. And today I just want to pray for, for physical sickness this morning of the household of faith. Yes. Uh, we, we have to rise up and be healed. In the book of Jeremiah, we read, yeah. it was Jeremiah that said, save me and I shall be saved. Heal me and I shall be healed. Glory be to God. And sometimes when people are sick in their bodies, check their minds. Let, let, let me tell you something. I have practiced this. Any time the enemy attack my body, I search myself because healing is the children's bread. 
So we're going to pray right now for the household of faith. Father, in the name of Jesus, we bring the household of faith before thee. Lord, whether there is a spiritual sickness, a physical sickness, a mental sickness, glory be to God, whatever the sickness is, you came that we might be healed. We curse the satanic forces of darkness, demonic forces that tell people they're not going to be delivered. They're not going to be healed. They're not going to be set free. I command the body of Christ to be delivered right now, first of all, in their mind, because it is with the mind that we serve the Lord. And if our mind is right, glory be to God, everything is going to measure up. So we bring the body of Christ before thee the household of faith. Lord, we are your people and the sheep of your pastures. And you have given us all things that pertain to this life and godliness. One of those things is healing. So we speak healing right now in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Glory be to God. We call those things that as not as though they were. We, cause your pe we call your people delivered. We call your people set free. In the name of Jesus, and we thank you, glory be to God, for doing this great thing for us in the body of Christ. In Jesus' name. You know what? Amen. We are our brother's keeper. Yes, we are. We are our brother's keeper. And there's nothing we can do about things if our brother doesn't want to be delivered. But if our brother wants to be then we yeah. can be an agreement because you know, one of the things I have discovered about God, God never gave us dominion over man. Anytime we exercise dominion over man, that's witchcraft. It's control. You're trying to control people. You're trying to rule their life. You're trying to get something from them. You're trying to move them in your direction. But God give us dominion over animals. My Lord. But I'm here to tell you, he never gave. Go back and read the scripture, dominion over man. So man is man. There, there's some people, there is nothing you can do about the way they think or the things they do. But there is somebody that might have a tender heart. That is the person you reach out to. That is the person that you help. There's someone that is not set in their ways, but they still have a desire to submit themselves to God. So we don't have control over man. I have no desire to control man. Make man do anything. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. I pastor a church and I pastor a church with love. I ask people. And if people say no, glory be to God. Or wait, glory be to God. Hallelujah. I go back to God and give it to God. I don't control. I believe that there are two ways you can lead people. One by love and one by manipulation. I prefer love. Glory be to Jesus. So there's some things about man you're not going to be able to control. Mm -hmm. Glory be to God. But if, glory be to God, you see someone with a tender heart that can agree with you for their deliverance, that's the person you go after. And everything else you leave in the hands of God. Glory be to God. Is there another request before we go? Praise God. Glory be to God. Our apostle is on his way back to the United States of America. Amen. Glory be to God. But it doesn't matter where he goes. Glory be to God. We have a system set up that we speak to each other every day. Unless he is in the jungles of Africa. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. So he's well. The testimonies are wonderful. And, and one of the reasons we set out this system, glory be to God, because Bishop Hines is my husband and my head. I do not do anything except I run it by him. Glory be Amen. to God. I tell him, 
sweetheart, this is the decision that I would like to make. Let's pray about this. Glory be to Jesus. And in that way, I am protected. No one can control me. No one outside of him can control me or make me do anything that I don't want to do. Because the Bible tells me, and we're talking about submission to God, obey your own husband. So my focus is obedience. And one of the things we do is keep a clear path between us that no one will be able to manipulate another. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. But that everything that we share with each other, glory be to God, is our decision. It is what God has given us. So we truly magnify the Lord for his goodness. Glory be to God this morning. And I pray today, glory be to God, that we have been a help to you. We have blessed you. The Lord bless thee and keep thee. The Lord make his face to shine upon thee and be gracious unto thee. The Lord lift up the light of his countenance upon thee and give thee peace. In Jesus' name, go with God. Let God go with you. In Jesus' name.